Hi, my name is Johnston Blakely with Investigative Train, bringing you another surveillance co-pilot tip. Here we are following a subject into a mall, and this can be the same situation for any large store that you go into that has a uh, large parking lot. Now, if the subject represented by orange is pulling into the parking lot, very busy parking lot, she finds a parking space. The investigator comes up another aisle way and takes a spot in another lane. The subject is already out of her car now on foot ahead of the subject even park, an investigator even parking and she starts going to the mall. This is the wrong thing to do for the investigator there with the represented by the blue dot. The investigator maintains a path behind the subject. The subject gets towards the door, turns in towards the doors and is now at a view. The investigator hustles because he knows that he's going to lose her if he doesn't keep an eye on her. See even there, she's still at a view. She's turned in left to a store and the investigator can't see that. She's somewhere in that store but the investigator keeps going through the mall unaware that she turned left. Let's go back and show you the right way to do this here. The subject exits her vehicle walks towards the mall. The investigator cuts over through the parked cars to get lined up perpendicular with that door. Why? So that the investigator can see through the glass of the door and all the way down the aisle way of the mall to see if the subject turns left, right, or goes straight. Right now the investigator can see right down the mall, sees that the subject through the front glass has turned left. Not a problem. The investigator goes in, even though the subject's out of view, and turns left into the store that he saw from, oh, I would say 50 to 70 feet that uh, through the glass that she turned left. So, this is the best way to do it. Get lined up with that door. If you follow from the side walk there, then you have to be very close to the subject. A subject can be in a mall, turn left, turn right, and be out of view. And the investigator will wind up hunting through every store in a very large mall looking for the subject and then going back to the parking lot seeing that the subject's vehicle is gone. Or the investigator would take a quick cursory look and then go back and have to wait and maybe get film of the subject carrying a few bags out. Let me give you another tip here. When you're in a mall, a mall has small stores down the aisleways and then has maybe half a dozen big department stores. The department stores are very difficult to film in. In fact, I I get bits of piece, pieces of film inside the, the department stores. What I'm really doing in there is just ba basically babysitting the subject till he or she leaves the department stores and goes out into the main part of the mall. I do try to get film but I prioritize keeping an eye on them. If you go around an escalator over to the other side of the store to try to get a better angle on the subject, they could easily be gone, especially in a busy mall. The most important thing is, is to keep an eye on them from a distance, more so than filming till you get to the easy film parts of the mall, which is filming into those little boutiques and such from the aisleway. Join us at www.investigativetraining.org where we are dedicated to helping develop the skills and profits of investigators throughout the world. We have several free surveillance training tips as well as some very reasonably priced surveillance training episodes. See you there.